Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable Super CID on your freshly SOP bootloader unlocked Verizon HTC One M8. The reason you might want to do this is if you're interested at all in flashing other carrier ROMs to your device, uh, the radios in this include radios for T-Mobile and it'll also work on AT&T. You won't get full 4G out of AT&T. You should be able to get HSPA Plus out of T-Mobile. But at any rate, you can use this phone on other networks. It is a carrier unlocked from the factory. So being able to flash other carrier ROMs can be a benefit uh, when using this device. That's why we would do the Super CID. You want to be very careful when flashing Super CID because you can really mess things up. With Super CID, uh, you're able to flash whatever you want. And I mean, it's kind of that way with s -off, so you're not really incurring too many more risks. You just be very careful with this. Uh, so what you want to do is go into settings, developer options, you'll enable uh, developer options and turn on USB debugging. This way your computer can communicate with the device. Go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Okay, so we're going to be using the thread by Evolution Mods. Uh, he's got all the CMD line commands that we need to use here. We're going to use ADB Reboot Boot Loader. Uh, so we'll go into Terminal and we will type ADB Reboot Boot Loader. And your device should go ahead and reboot into the boot loader. Okay, once in the boot loader, we will copy and paste the next line of code, the sudo fastboot OEM write CID. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So we'll copy that and paste that here and hit enter. Okay, so it looks like we can remove the sudo out of the code. So just fastboot OEM write CID and then uh, eight number ones and then hit enter. And then that will put out the correct uh, the correct output here. It should look just like this bootloader start verify zero input CID is super CID start verify zero and about uh, 0.2 milliseconds there finish total time 0.3 and then we're done. We should be able to go in and look and see where we have um, a new super CID. Okay we will fast boot reboot And then we will ADB reboot bootloader, and we should have our new Super CID. Okay, so you guys see where the CID now has eight number ones, and we are now Super CID, so we should be able to flash any carrier ROM that we like. Just be very careful, because not only are you totally s off, but you can flash whatever firmware you like to your device. Um, also, I saw that it was mentioned in the forum thread uh, that this will help with checks on ROM install. So if it checks for a certain device and it's not there, uh, this will enable you to run it anyhow. So once again, just be very careful with this Super CID. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. We'll definitely be covering the HTC One M8 very heavily. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure to share this video. It helps me more than you know. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.